Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts and your opinions about the video. Make sure to subscribe with post notifications on so you stay notified on every single video. Also, follow my social media so you stay tuned for updates for incoming videos. Thank you. Hello everyone, Dylan here, and welcome back to another reaction. So, it's about 9pm at night, and Logan or SMO just uploaded a new SMO movie or SMO video called SMO Movie Jeffy's Drone. So, straight when I, re I finish reacting to this and publish this video, I'm gonna go in the shower and then I'm gonna go to sleep, so no uh, wasting time so i i have a drone but as you guys re will kind of remember or don't remember well it's all my popular first ever popular videos that it's like a tutorial video i think i either played with it or i made a tutorial of how you connect the drone to your phone and then you control it with your phone and I screwed up. Well, I mean, when the first time that I played with the drone. And just want to let you guys know, if you're going to buy a drone or already have a drone, don't play with it in your house because on that video, I just screwed up. And just like Jeffy did, I bet he will screw up with it too. So, so no time wasted. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe to Super Luigi Logan or just Logan. And all the SMO crew down in the description below. So this video is 20 minutes and no time wasted. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let's begin. Oh boy. Uh oh. Mouse trap. Oh. <laughs> What's the reason for doing that? Well, when you're making that ooze sound, it seems like that you're not born. And where does even Mario get that money from? Does he even work? All right, Jeffy, here's your drone. Yay! All right, Jeffy, just don't do anything stupid with it. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. All right, Daddy, hold on. Is it number one? Well, what do you expect from him? I have similar to this. Wow. The new 2019 yeah, fidget spinner. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. So oh, boy. <laughs> that looks like fun. Really, that that's kind of hilarious, by the way. Uh-oh. To be honest, that kind of looks like fun. I imagine that he accessed the camera. He doesn't know. Oh, man. Uh oh. <laughs> nice aim. Actually, it was pretty close, actually. Oh, wow. Jeffy, I told you not to do anything stupid with that drone. You know what you did? You did something stupid with it. One 
Well, what do you expect? No offense, that that looked like fun. <laughs> and it, it was hilarious too. No offense. He we should fly that drone to Mars. He's gonna Oh boy. He's gonna either like break it with from the tree. it is a perfect day for flying. Just beautiful or something. Alright, let's talk to the passengers. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain Brooklyn T guy speaking. I have turned off the fasten seatbelt sign, so you are now free to roam around the cabin. Uh, we're expecting a pretty smooth and easy flight today. Uh, it's going to be the smoothest, actually. This is going to be the smoothest and safest flight anyone has ever had. I'm going to say that right now. That's a guarantee from me, your captain. This is going to be the safest flight. You, you could you could make you could make a house of cards right now in the cabin, and it wouldn't even fall over. Eight stories high doesn't matter. It's not going to fall over because this flight is going to be so smooth. I, I don't think I could. Are you sure about that? that? You know, I, I really don't hmm. think I could. And if you're worried about hijacking, don't worry about that. Because no one would even bother to try to hijack the plane because they wouldn't want to ruin how smooth this flight is going to be. All right? So oh, all right. Don't worry about it. Over and out. Ah. All right, Jeffy. Are you ready to launch this drone and go to Mars? Yeah, let's go to Mars. Oh, boy. Let's go to Mars. Whoa. It's going so high up, Jeffy. Keep going higher. Keep going, Joseph. Even higher. What about the planet Uranus? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, we lost the way. Holy shit, I'm not. I'm a mayday, man. We're going down. Oh my god, I'm trying to crack it. Oh my god, we're going down. Scream. Everybody scream. Scream for your lives. This stupid plane hit our drone. Oh, uh, Jeffy, we should go inside. Run, run, run. Okay. Oh, hey, Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, you're sitting here on the couch? What are you doing? What, Je I'm just watching TV, Jeffy. What's wrong? You seem nervous. Oh, I didn't just fly a drone into an airplane or anything. Why, why, why would you say that? Why would you think that? <clears throat> what? What? He makes it so obvious. I have a question. What? If a flying didn't have wings anymore, would it be called a fly or would it be called a walk? Because it would be walking everywhere it goes. W what? <clears throat> yeah, kind of like the airplane outside. It doesn't have wings anymore, so would it be called a walk, too? What? Je Jeffy, oh, shut up. The, the news is coming on right now. Hold on. It seems important. <laughs> Breaking news, you say? A plane carrying 250 passengers has wow. crashed in a cornfield. And the pilot, Brooklyn T. Guy, is to blame. The reason why it is his fault is because he was driving the plane. If what? I was driving a car and I crashed into something, it would be my fault. So since he was the pilot, what? The plane, it is his fault, ladies and gentlemen. He managed to crash a plane on a sunny, no cloud day like today. Here is his picture, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you shame him for all of eternity. More on the story as it develops. Oh my god, a plane crash! Those poor people! My poor drone! See, Jeff, <laughs> I don't like flying. Flying is dangerous. Planes can crash out of nowhere for no reason. Or someone could have flown their drone into it. Jeff, Jeff, what do you keep saying? <laughs> something. If a flying didn't have wings, would it be called a fly or a walk? No, Jeff, you keep saying something about your drone. Where is your drone? Oh, um, I sold it at a yard sale. A yard sale? Where? Um, that way. Jeffy, why would you sell your drone at a yard sale? Because I didn't want it anymore. Okay, well, then where's the money you made from it? Oh, I bought a new drone, and I flew that drone into the plane. What? Jerry, that was you! You're the reason why that plane crashed? Well, no, he flew his plane into my drone. He, he did not, not believe him the first oh, time. Watching you with that stupid drone, and I should have even gave you a drone. Uh, okay, okay. W w mm. uh, you know what? No. We're gonna sit here and act like nothing happened because if that drone really did crash in that plane, it's disintegrated by now, and there's no way they'll find out. No, no, there's no way they could track it. So we're gonna sit right here and we're not gonna worry. Yeah. They're gonna ring the door, but yeah, like that. Okay. Hold on, Jody. Stay right here. Uh, hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, you got a shirt I can have? Maybe some underwear, at least. What are you doing outside my house? Why are you naked? Oh, you know, I do this all the time. I like to stand outside the house naked in 
the freezing cold. That's my favorite thing to do, especially today. Yeah, t today's a good day in my book. Uh-huh. It's a big win for me today. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I, I think I can get you a shirt or some underwear. Uh, can, can I can I maybe just come inside so I can cry in there? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, sure. Come on in. Thank you. Thanks for the diaper. It kind of suits me perfectly because I'm going to be crying like a baby all day. <laughs> yeah! So what's wrong? What happened? Uh, well, I assume you heard about the plane crash. It's all over the news. Oh, yeah, you were the pilot. Wait, how are you alive? Well, I landed the plane safely. Nobody died. Oh, okay. mm. so if you landed safely, then what's the problem? Well, I crashed the plane into a cornfield, and the farmer's all pissed because I ruined all his corn, so he's suing me. And the airline's pissed because apparently crashing a $300 million plane and endangering the lives of 200 passengers is a big deal or something. Oh, so, so you only lost your pilot job. What about your other jobs? Oh, no. I lost all my jobs. Nobody will hire me. I lost my police job. I lost my doctor job. Wow. I lost my plumber job. I lost my electrician job. I lost my firefighter job. And I lost my hairstylist job. And I lost my mailman job. And I lost my pizza delivery guy job. All those jobs? All those jobs. Wow. So what do you do for work? I don't know. No one so how much money does he get in total? Must be like a ton. More than that. That's not my name. My name is Brooklyn Guy. Mr. Plane Crash Guy was my brother. He died back in 2001. Oh, okay, mm. well, what about your wife? She has a job, right? Oh, no. She left me. She didn't want to be married to somebody associated with plane crashes. She thought I crashed that plane on purpose. And don't even bring up my ex-wife. I tried going back to her. Yeah, I offered her a free gift card for a buffet. And no, she said no to that. Can you believe that? It's the first time that fat bitch ever said no to a buffet in her life. I Whoa. Was... <laughs> okay, well, you said they won't hire your face, but why don't you get a job as a telemarketer? All they're gonna do is hear your voice. They don't know your voice. No, oh, no, they know my voice, too. Yeah, they got the recording from the black box in the cockpit all over the news. They got it on loop. Listen. Breaking news, you cutty. We have an update on the plane crash. We have received the black box data recording of the conversation that the pilot was having in the cockpit as the plane was going down. Let's take a listen. Mayday, Mayday, Tower 1-4, this is Dorito Loco Tango Bravo. I'm missing my left wing and engine. We are going down. We are currently in a downward vertical spiral to a Mach 6. If anyone can get a picture, that'd be pre-lit for the documentary they're going to make on this. Uh, I'm going to alert the passengers to brace themselves. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. If you look out the left side of the plane, you will see that we don't <laughs> oh yeah, all right. Is everybody okay back there? <laughs> that was awesome. Did you see that? I just landed this bitch with no wings. Suck it, Sully. <laughs> Corn. Wow. His fault. His fault, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. See, it's not that bad. I was professional through the whole thing. I never lost my cool. Yeah, that's not that bad. And are you sure you didn't see anything hit the plane? No, it was a beautiful day for flying. We were just on autopilot, cruising along. You know, this is the plane. And the next thing I know, it's... <whistles> we're gonna crash. <laughs> we're all gonna die. <whistles> we're on fire. Where's my kid? He's on fire, too. That. Well, okay, well, look, it was, it was an accident, and it, it was, we don't even know what caused it. It was just, the plane just, just did that randomly. Nothing hit it, not a drone, nothing, nothing like that. Like, just completely random. So, it's not your fault, and I'm not judging you for that. So, you know what? I'm going to be your friend, and I'm going to support you through this whole thing. So, so what do you need me to do? Well, I, I was kind of hoping I could stay here for a while and, and just mooch off you. Or at least just until you get tired of me, and then I could just go somewhere else and mooch off them for a while. <laughs> until they get tired of me, and then I just die, sad and alone. In a diaper, I just peed. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> You're not gonna give up. Are you kidding me? I, 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 do you see me right now? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in your house in a diaper, and I just peed. Okay, I need you to change me. This is me giving up. You're not gonna give up. We're gonna get you back on your feet. I don't even have feet. <laughs> I'm a no feet having plane crash and loser woozer. Come on, come on, guys, you're not a loser woozer. I'm a loser woozer. 
No, come on, that wasn't the crack. Was it your fault? Oh, okay, um, uh, are you hungry? Yeah. You, you want some spaghetti? No. You want some chicken wings? <laughs> you said wings like the plain ice cream. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, do you want a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, but no crust, though. Oh, okay, yeah, peanut butter and jelly sandwich with no crust, though, okay? I'm gonna get you that. Thank you. Here you go, buddy. Here's your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No crust. Uh, you know what the crust on this sandwich and the wings on that airplane have in common? What? They're both off! <laughs> Oh, come on, you told me to cut the crust off. I changed my mind. I like the crust now. Okay, you know what? You're going to eat this sandwich. And look, you can eat the crust by itself. Like, look at this. Look, uh, open wide for the airplane. Yeah. It, it, it broke. Oh, God, I'm such a loser. Oh, okay, look, I'll make a sandwich with the crust, okay? All right, here's your sandwich with the crust. Ah! What'd you do? Boy, no. Into a peanut butter and lose a sandwich. What, what? You made a huge mess! I know, and I, and I think I need a diaper change. The worst part is, I'm allergic to peanut butter, so you should probably go ahead and call a doctor, because I don't feel too good. Oh, you ridiculous. Uh oh. <laughs> He's like another version of Jeffy. That's my line and my job. Oh, yeah? Who are you supposed to be? A peanut butter and lose a sandwich? <laughs> Hey, you didn't laugh at that joke when I made it. Oh, it's just the way he said it. So you're the new doctor? Yeah, my name is Bronx, dude. I, I got a lot of new jobs today. I'm the new doctor, cop, lawyer, firefighter, pilot. You name it, I do it, yeah. Th th those are all my jobs. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, wait, wait a minute. I saw you on the news today. Yeah, you're that, you're that Brooklyn guy. Crashed a plane. Good gun, buddy. Yeah, could have killed a lot of people there. Good thing you didn't, uh, but you could have. Are, are you going to stop him at some point? Oh, okay, look, look, he's allergic to peanut butter. That's why I called you. Uh, oh, yeah, he's allergic to peanut butter? You sure about that? He got it all over his body. Pretty sure he'd be dead by now if he was actually allergic to it. Oh, okay, okay, fine. I'm not actually allergic to peanut butter. I just wanted to see who took my job. And now that I know, f*** you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, up yours, buddy. Oh, oh up yeah? Yours. Oh, yeah? You, you yeah. want to you come over here and get a peanut butter and knuckle sandwich? Wow. I'm afraid to get some diaper on me, you big Brooklyn baby. Hey, hey it, it's been a very rough day, okay? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't tell wow. about peanut butter and bread on your face, you mook. Well, well hey, you, you come over here and say that. You come a little closer. Oh, wow. You, you? That you should yeah. be. You yeah, should what be. you didn't do, crash a plane into me? Oh, 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 yeah, big man. Big yeah. part of the plane yeah. crash. Today. I better not catch you on my side of town, buddy. We're yeah. in the same town, Jack. Oh, yeah, we're in the same town. Yeah, yeah, town. yeah, we're yeah. in the same town. Yeah. yeah, at least I don't look stupid with bread on my face. Oh, yeah, that's right, right. I'd rather be a breadhead than have that stupid hat. What's with that hat? Stupid. Oh, yeah, well, you're yeah. ugly. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 break it up, break it up, break it up. All right, you can leave because we don't need you anymore. Yeah, uh, get my bill. Yeah, stupid. And, and you clean yourself up. <laughs> uh, what a dick, right? Like, he was, he was a dick. Well, okay, look, you're the one with bread on your face and, and, and peanut butter. <laughs> so let's turn on the TV, right, and watch some TV. Oh, boy. Breaking news, we say. A new update on the plane crash situation. The pilot, Brooklyn T. God, is not to blame. We have new information developing that a drone was flown into the plane's jet turbine, which caused... What do you know? <laughs> fuck off. Science is truly amazing. So the new person to blame is Mario. He's the one who purchased the drone and registered the drone into his name. And also, he obviously thought that it was wow. more important to spend $1,500 on a drone than to pay his fucking house payment. <laughs> oh. So you're telling me I did all of this because of you? No, 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 actually, it's not my fault. It's my son's fault because my son wanted a drone, so I bought him a drone so he'd stop bothering me. And then he went and flew the drones, so blame him. Yeah, yeah, it's real good parenting. And because you gave your son a drone, he crashed that drone into my plane and ruined my life. Oh, actually, no, your life's not ruined anymore. See, the news said they're not blaming you. So look, you can get your jobs back. That dude took all my jobs. Well, well, you, well look, look. It's time for payback. Hmm. All right, I got an idea. Uh, could you order a pizza for me? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Man. Okay. Come on, come on, you bastard. Uh, I got a large pepperoni pizza. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you now, are you? Yeah, there's not 
too much room in there, is there? I hope you like your pizza hand tossed. <laughs> now I can finally get back to work and stay out of my town. Hey, Mark. Oh. oh. You did? Yeah. And my wife came back, which is not as good news. Oh, that's so <laughs> awesome. I wonder the other guy. Oh, uh, let's just say he had a special delivery. <laughs> let's just say I murdered him. What? Yeah, let's just say that I slowly smothered him to death with a pizza. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I got all my jobs back. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah, uh, the bad news is that my boss told me to come arrest you. Arrest me? Why? Because uh, of the whole drone incident? I mean, you did take down a plane with a drone. No, 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 that was my son Jesse. I didn't do that. Well, it was your drone. It was registered to you. But don't worry. Since we're best buds now, I'm not going to arrest you. I'm just going to tell them that you resisted arrest, so I had to shoot you. And now you're dead, so they're going to stop looking for you. And a dog came and ate your body, so there's no evidence. So you're totally fine. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how that's going to work. It's real quick. Hold on. Uh, hey, you watching this video right now. If you have a drone, uh, don't fly it near a plane. That's that's very illegal. And uh, also don't don't kill anybody with a pizza. Or just just don't kill anybody at all, really. Uh, don't don't really don't really copy any of the things you see us do in these videos. Just just as a general rule. What is the scariest thing that has ever happened to you? Mm. The Jeffy Puppet is now on sale. So go get yours today at smlmerch.com. Hmm. The scariest thing that I have that has ever happened to me. Well, um. Uh, I actually don't know. Well, I mean, that, like, I thought that I saw something in my room. I thought I saw Slenderman for some reason. Actually, this was, like, a couple of years ago. I thought I saw Slenderman in my room. I woke up, and then I thought I, I saw Slenderman on the left corner of my bed. And then I just got up and then I quickly rushed into the living room. And then uh, for some reason I tried to like escape the house. And then my mom, my mother woke up and then she said, um, she said my name. Like she was wondering what I'm doing, what I was doing because she got scared. And then I went in her room and I said, and then she said, what happened? And then I said, I didn't say anything because, like, I I got scared. Well, it wasn't the most scariest, like, the most, most scariest. Well, it was just kind of, it was kind of creepy. It kind of creeped me out. And it I it kind of scared me a little bit. So, if you guys did enjoy the reaction video or the original video itself, please make sure you guys leave a like if you guys did enjoy Comment down below your thoughts and your opinions and subscribe to the channel as you're on the road of hitting that 2,000 subscriber range. So, yeah, we're almost up to 1,100. Thank you guys so much. And turn up post notifications so you guys will stay notified on every single video. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>